as the first day of Chinese New Year, everyone should greet each other with happy and auspicious greetings. So please greet each other. Kohei Pachoy. Kohei Pachoy. And we are very glad that Duty Free Philippines celebrate with us with this grand festivity and much more by giving away as much as a 30% discount. Yes, that is today until tomorrow 9 p.m. And when you shop today and tomorrow, so from electronics, fragrance, And right now, to start off with our celebration, may I introduce to you our feng shui expert, Mr. Patrick Lim Fernandez. <laughs> Mr. Patrick Lim Fernandez is a part at the Yin Yang Shop of Harmony. Mr. Patrick combines classical feng shui concepts and tradition, and he learned feng shui at young age including teaching from his sister, Princess Lim Fernandez, and his mother, Arlene T. Lim Fernandez. Patrick has performed numerous consultations for personal and commercial clients in the Philippines and in the U.S. He holds degrees in the management, engineering, and economics with honors from Ateneo de Manila University and an MBA from University of California, Los Angeles. With Advanced Analytics courses from MIT and Stanford. Without further ado, we may we welcome our Feng Shui Master for today, Mr. Patrick Lim Fernandez. Round of applause, please. Thank you so much. And to everyone, Kong Si Pat Tsai. Kong Si Pat Tsai. Iwan Choi. And of course, our in Cantonese, we say Kong Hei Pat Choi. So those are just the different ways we greet for the new year. And we're very excited to be here. This is many years running. Thank you, Tito Vigo, for having us again this year. And this is a very exciting year. This is the year 2020. So if we think about it, this is a new year. It's also a new decade. And it's also the start of a new 12-year cycle. This year is the year of the golden rat. And if we think about the zodiac, we ended this last year, the year of the earthquake. And 2020 begins the next 12 year cycle. This goes all the way to 2032. And what does the year have in store for us this year? The first thing we notice is because it's a new cycle, there's gonna be a lot of new beginnings. So if we think about things that we wanted to start, if you want a fresh start, this is the year to have it. There's a lot of new creative energy that we want to imbibe. Because as the, as the energies come down from the universe, we'll be among the first to receive it today. And we have a lot of auspicious activities planned as well. We're going to have some blessings here for you and also our dragon and lion dance later on. And also this year marks a very interesting cycle because we're seeing some potential instability in many different areas, in politics, in our finances, even the environment. And hopefully what we can do this year is always be prepared. We never know what may happen, so always have a contingency plan. One thing we can take from the rats is they're very smart, they're very clever. There's a story that way back many years ago, the Buddha called the Great Race and said, the first 12 animals that come into this race, I will name the, the years of the zodiac for you. And what happened was, Yung rat yung nauna. He knew he was small and he couldn't win against bigger animals like yung dragon or yung tiger. So he woke up early and he made his way to, to the race and he eventually finished first. So the rat is very smart. You know, he finds a way to solve his problem. So that's something we can do as well this year. Find creative ways to solve problems if they do come for us. And the other thing is the rat is also very social. They're all, they always come in groups. So one thing we should do this year is always do things together. Don't try to do things on your own. Always ask for support. That's another good thing that we can do this year. <clears throat> now I think you all probably know what signs you are in the zodiac, whether you're a rat, a rabbit, a dragon, a tiger. I'll give you a few tips so that you can uh, appropriately guide your year. 
So if your year of the rap, or 1936, 1948, 1960, 1972, 84, 96, 2008, your year of the rap, this year is going to be a year of leadership. If you're born in this year, try to become a leader in the different groups you're in, whether it's at work, in your family, or in any different arena. Try to, try to show your leadership skills so that people will follow you and make this your platform for change. For Year of the Ox, 1937, 1949, 1961, 73, 85, 97. These are all Year of the Ox. If you belong to this year, this is a very good year for your career and your business. You'll have a lot of good money left this year. So if you're planning on expanding new services or products, try to really study it, and this is the year that you can do it. So that's for the Year of the Ox. Year of the Tiger. 1938, 1950, 1962, 74, 86, and 98. Those are all years of the tiger. The tiger is here, the key word is to travel. If you've been thinking about going to another province, country, another place, or if you're thinking of moving, this is the year to do that. So that if you want to explore new horizons for the tigers, this is the year to be bold, take that chance. Now for the rabbits. 1939, 1951, 1963, 1975, 1987, 1999. These are all years for the rabbit. The hallmark this year for the rabbit is romance. So if you're looking for love or if you're in a relationship, this is a good year to foster your relationships. I see some people are already uh, happy that they will be having a good year for romance and relationships. So this would be a good time to then Think about other people, their needs, and how you can live in harmony with each other. So that's going to be good for the year of the rabbit. The year of the dragon, 1940, 1952, 1964, 1976, 1988, and the year 2000. These are all year of the dragon. So for the dragons this year, this is a good year to showcase your talents, especially good if you're in the field of creative um, you know, if you're like an artist, if you're something that has to do with using your mind to create new things. This will be a good year for you to showcase your talent. So take advantage of that if you're here to Year of the State, 1941, 1953, 1965, 1977, 1989. These are all years of the snake. So for the snakes this year, this is all about support. You'll be receiving a lot of support. You'll also be giving a lot of support. So if you need help, don't be afraid to ask. Studies have shown that when you ask for help, it's not a sign of weakness, it's actually a sign of strength. So try to look for support this year, if you're a year of this day. Year of the Horse, 1942, 1954, 1966, 1978, 1990, year 2002. These are all year of the Horse. The horse this year, unfortunately, is a conflict with the rat, so it may be a pretty challenging year because there will be a lot of obstacles in your way. But also see this as a year of change, so that you will be able to influence your change rather than having a change happen to you. So this is for the years of the horse. Don't try to get bogged down emotionally if things don't go your way. Take them as learning opportunities so that you'll be able to grow from this and then be better in the future. The next the year of the goat, 1943, 1955, 1967, 1979, 1991, 2003. These are all years of the goat. If you're year of the goat, congratulations. This is actually the best sign of this year. Uh, there's, a, there's an acronym, greatest of all time, for G-O-A-T, for the goat. And this is a year for you to actually be very lucky with all the good energies. But take advantage of all these energies, especially with your money love, your career, and don't be, and also don't forget to give to charities. If you have a lot of wealth, if you've been able to get a lot of money, make sure you also are able to give that back. So that's going to be something else that's good for the goats this year. The year of the monkey, 1944, 1956, 1968, 1980, 1992, 2004. These are all years of the monkey. And for the monkeys this year, they have a prosperity star. 
Prosperity Star is something that you'll be getting a lot of material things and immaterial things. Meaning, you'll be getting things that money can buy, uh, finances or uh, investments in your business. You'll also be getting a lot of things that money cannot buy. Love, friendship, advice, support from your loved ones. And I think sometimes this could be even more important. So for the monkeys this year, this is what you have to look forward to. The rooster. 1945, 1957, 1969, 1981, 1993, 2005. These are all years of the rooster. The roosters also have very good luck this year in terms of money and recognition. In our parlance, patitang gilas. So if you're able to show people what you're made of, you'll be recognized and appreciated for it. Uh, the roosters also don't have a star called the illegal romance star. So if you are... <laughs> If you are married or if you have a significant other, do not be tempted by temptations. Uh, just you know, don't go there and go, go through the right path. That's my advice for the roosters this year. For the dog, 1946, 1958, 1970, 1982, 1994, 2006. These are all years of the dog. For the dogs this year, this is pretty good. They have a fame star. This means that they'll be able to spread their influence in whatever field they're in. So this is good, especially if you're already in the public eye. And for the newer generation now, if you're an influencer, you'll, you'll be getting a lot of new followers, a lot of new people who will be looking up to you. And also you have the star where it... So if you do have problems this year, this should help you lessen those problems so they don't become too big done with any emotion. And the last one is Year of the Pig. 1947, 1959, 1971, 1983, 1995, 2007. These are all years of the pig. The pigs this year have what we call an intelligent star. So, talino. So, if there's anything where you are trying to solve problems or you're trying to come up with creative ways to, to do something, this is the year you can do that. You'll be able to have a lot of new ideas that you didn't have in the past, and this should help you for the year going forward. So just for a quick preview, those are all the signs. Something to look forward to. There are also some things to watch out for for each sign. Uh, if you're interested, we're at the New World Hotel in Makati. We'd love to see you. If you want a more personal reading, we'd love to be able to sit down with you and give you a more personal reading. Where we look at your hour, your day, your month, and your year. And able to guide you to all the energies for the year. So that concludes all of the signs. We will now be starting the ceremony. So just to give you a preview, we will all of the wishes will be energized because it will now be stronger because we're all doing it at the same time. So we'll now begin. We start the celebration with a New Year wishing ceremony. May I request during this time keep silent and take advantage of these few moments 
as a new year comes, to focus on our wishes and ask that they manifest and be fulfilled this year of the Golden Rat. We ask for all of you to focus on the wishes that you have, and we'll have a quick moment of silence. The universe opens up and pours its energies of prosperity and abundance. Being here for the new year makes us one of the first to get the best of luck. Remember, we are among the first to receive the energies of the year as we get the first wave of love that the year is bringing in. The potency and the strength of the energies are at its optimum. This is what we invite to guide us and be with us during this golden rap year. We need to make room to welcome in the blessings that the new year has to bring. So open your mind and open your hearts. Now please state your name and your birthday. So I, I state your name and your birthday. Wish for the following. We wish for good health throughout the year, peaceful mind, happy emotional state, optimal physical health, good overall well-being, harmony for our body, mind, and spirit. We wish for guidance amidst the change that's happening to us and around us, for guidance in our thoughts, actions, and words as we walk along the road of the golden rat here to point us toward the right direction. We wish for safety, that we will be protected in all our endeavors. We wish for harmony in our homes, workplace, and with our friends and colleagues. We wish for the luxury of spending time with our loved ones and being able to savor and enjoy the moments that life gives us. We wish for love to continue to grow and never cease, and that happiness and laughter will always be present. We wish for vigilance and enlightenment in our minds, that we will be guided safely in our daily encounters to see the truth. May we be so blessed to be surrounded with kind, genuine, and sincere people and advisors. We wish for guidance in our careers and studies, that we may progress and enjoy success in all our endeavors, that we may reach our maximum potential. We wish for protection from critics and detractors, that they may see the true meaning behind our words and actions. We wish for bountiful opportunities, good prospects, Mutually beneficial partnerships and collaborations, especially here at Should Be Free, that will result in progress and growth to bring us long-term benefits. And we wish for abundance and wealth to free us of financial worries and to enjoy the fruits and benefits that come with it. May we be prosperous and have good money luck this year, overflowing with treasures and good fortune, and especially to the leaders of Should Be Free and all the managers and supervisors. And wishes for all of you today. So please take this time to focus and make your own wishes for this year of the Golden Rat. You may reiterate in your wishes silently in your hearts and join us in this moment of silence. <laughs> 